when was it that it, it started to turn into a profession where you could actually make money from it? And- Probably 10 years after that. Wow, so it was 10 years from when you first started. Yeah. What were you doing like in between then? Was there, did you have other jobs and? You know, living off my wife, um, doing odd jobs, just anything that would make it work. Mm-hmm. And we, right around the ninth year mark, we were, we were pretty broke. Like it was to the point where I had to look at her and go, oh, this is not good. You know what I mean? I promised her this good life and we got married and we're expecting our, our first kid. And I'm like, man, what, you know, I had that. What am I going to do? Give this up? You know, and I told you, know, like, I'm going to get a job at a restaurant. Like I'll do it. And she's like, don't you dare. She's like, if you give up now, I will never forgive you. And I just thought, man, that's just like so cool that I have someone that I thought was just must in her mind be going, well, what is this guy doing? You know, because I would get jobs here and there. You know what I mean? Like every once in a while we get a job. And, oh, gosh, that was great. You know, but not steady enough to where it's like we're making you know, I'm supporting you. Um, and then, you know, after we had that conversation and I finally got a really great agent and um, things just started you know, stacking up one after another. And at first it was like, we made enough money this month to cover our mortgage. Plus, you know, I can take you to dinner to, oh yeah, we got three months mortgage in the bank so we can, you know, relax for a little bit, you know, and to eventually, you know, you work your way up to where, you know, you have stability Mm -hmm. and you can say, now I'm a working photographer. Mm -hmm. You need that support though from Mm -hmm. the beginning. You do, even if you're single. Yeah. You need reinforcement. You need to know that, you know, you're not the only one that believes in you, you know, because you need other people to believe in you to, to, to actually start working mm-hmm. if you want to be, you know, in the business part of it. You really do. Yeah. The business part of it, too, is it's definitely, like you said, really challenging to get going. Yeah. And that... Uh, it's pretty dicey early. And some people get lucky and they, they start getting really great paid gigs like right out the gate. Um, but like for me personally, I graduated with $100,000 in debt and then I'm like, yeah, they oh, set you shit, up. Man, in you're in the hole. Oh, yeah. I, and then, so then I'm living at home with my parents for a couple of years and I'm just scrape, scraping by. And it's like one or two projects, one client leads to another and then eventually it builds up. But you have to be willing to go through some shit to get through. Yeah, you do. And I think that that's the whole thing is that, you know, you you can weed out a lot of the people by watching it not happen. You know what I mean? Or, you know, everyone thinks they're so good, but you're not. <laughs> they're like, I, I'll even admit myself. I'm like, there are so many people that are better photographers than me. Absolutely. Not, that I envy and look, you know, up to. And, I, and some of them aren't working. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you got to figure out. You got to figure out what what is broken in this recipe. It's got to be the business side because of I course I is. felt the same way when I was I would there was these people that I idolized that were around my age and they were doing the same type of film work and I would literally emulate their work and I would try to copy it and I'd be like wow this is really good uh, and for whatever reason I was able to actually turn it into a business where others are now working like a nine to five corporate job that they're not fulfilled yeah. in. Um, it's like where is that gap and like what did you learn about like the the business side of my it? personality. And and I think people can see when I work with them. They see that I love this. You know what I mean? And I get along with people. I'm in a a business that is, you know, revolves around people and being around people. And and I think when you really do love it, and I don't I don't seek fame. I don't seek, you know, I like I said, I'm an adrenaline junkie when it comes to like when someone says, God, that's a gr- I love that photo you took of me. Oh. Can I, I can print it in my house. Like to me, there's, that's all I need. I don't need to be like recognized or, you know, someone's, oh, you know, like, you know, you're, you're a big name now. I'm like, I'm not, not really. You know what I mean? Like I, I've gained some sort of notoriety, but I don't, that's not really why I do it. Where some people, I, I see that they want that. They mm-hmm. want to be respected. They want to, they want people to know their name. Like I'm just as much as a celebrity as who I'm shooting. Do you know what I mean? And I just don't care for that. I really, honestly, I don't. Everything that I do is is for myself and 
you know, just to help move forward and see how far I can grow. It's going to come with it either way. Like sometimes it's weird. I'll go somewhere. Oh my God. I know. And I'm like shocked. Like, how do you know who I am? You know, like, oh, are you kidding me? And Instagram has been a, you know, crucial role in that as well because, and I Instagram, like, I'll Instagram my fat dog and <laughs> yeah, I was looking at doing it. it's like, stupid it, stuff. Like, it's I, very it's personal. Not, I, I, it, that's what Instagram is for for me. It's like, yeah. you, you want to know me. I don't, I could put up all my work and, and make myself look like, you know, the best photographer, you know, it's just, but it's like, it's not interesting to me. Like you see it already. You see the bill, but you know, sometimes I, it's fun to put up work stuff mixed with what I do in life. And I think for me, it's like my life and, and what I get to do now and the people I surround myself by, that's the interesting part about my life. And the fact that I'm just for once in my life, I'm happy. You know what I mean? And I'm happy that I'm doing what I'm doing. And I want people to know and, and look at that and go, man, this guy's just like me. You know, I want people to know that you can make it if you want to. And there is a way to get into this industry or in any industry. Like you said, wedding photographers are, I have a, I have a friend that was like, man, I can't, you know, get into it, you know, and he started shooting hotels when he went on vacation. Now he's shooting like major, you know, for companies and they're flying around the world to shoot in hotels. And man, it's like, wow, how cool is it? You found that niche on an accident and he's killing it now. Mm hmm. So it's, you never know. I could see that though with the Instagram and, and like to each their own, uh, there are some amazing Instagram photographer accounts that like every single image is just gorgeous. And when you even look at it like in the full stack scrolling down, it's just, it's just it's beautiful, like a, a great it's consistent. Pinterest, it's, and it's a big, a great Pinterest page. Yeah. But, but that's like, what, to me, that's what Pinterest is for. And you know what? I, I still enjoy those and I get why people do that too. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, I've had people tell me like, you should do a separate account with just your work. So it's not mixed up, you know? And I'm like, mm, I have it's an agent complicated. for that. Go to my website. Yeah. Like, uh, wh why? Yeah. And I'm like, you know, it's either, if you don't, this is the thing. Do, you don't have to follow. You don't have to like it because it's my page. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, but that's a whole, you know, like anything that's, you know, it's part of the business, you know, doing work, you know, your agent has something different to say about what you think. You know what I mean? Like, oh, don't put this in my portfolio. Oh, but that's my favorite picture. Yeah, but this is what we're doing. You know, so I have to trust them and let go of things that I, you know, creatively think, oh, that. so it's, you know, there's a lot of things. It's a collaboration. Yeah, the first time I went to an agent and they looked at my book, I had probably 50, 60 pictures in it. And by the time I left that meeting, I had two. Wow. I'm like, well, if you want to come with us, you need to go do more stuff like this. These are the only two things in your book that I can get you work from. And I'm looking at her like, are you crazy like you just took three four years of what i've tried to create and and you know i was bitter for a day or two but then i realized man she's right and you know what else um, who am i to tell someone who's got all these successful photographers that she's representing i'm like maybe i should listen 